figure some things out. So anyway, let's get straight into the video because I have another video I have to record after this and you're gonna see that video before you see this video and then like yeah, I have a busy day. I have to hurry up and record this video or record the next video. I had to go to the store and get my kids some Easter stuff before it's all picked over and then I have to go pick my kids up from school and come back home and cook. So yeah, that's how my off day is going. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do a little whisper ramble with you guys so I can make out another video. So we're gonna get straight into it. So I'm just gonna gently rub on Mr. Bunny while I um, talk to y'all. And I have another thing I'm gonna use in a sec. But anyway, so yeah, I know it's been like, today makes a whole week over a week since I made a video and you do you guys know same drama different day um it's kind of hard for me to talk about what I'm talking about and try to make sure I'm making relaxing sounds so bear with me if I stop making sounds for a second just bear with me because I'm trying to do both focus on what I'm trying to tell y'all and make relaxing sounds so anyway so um yeah I'm gonna give just a little ramble about the job and after this y'all I'm done talking about this job this job is about to take me down through there like it's hard to explain like one day I clock in and I'm like I love my job like I would rather be nowhere else other than at home in the comfort of my home working and then the next time I'm like I need a new job expeditiously because this is this is not gonna do it so anyways it's like trying to cover up my script in the back because I don't want any weirdos trying to see what company I work for and try to sabotage my job. I need it until I get me something else. But anyway, so my husband tells me like I be overreacting. He's like every job you have is going to be issues and you shouldn't let that job get you so upset because I'm not going to lie. The other day I got down to a breaking point where I was like literally eyes watering like throw the head sit down I can't do it no more and I'll give y'all a quick little story about what happened so um I don't know if anybody has ever worked for a call center because I work from home but it's for a call center for a certain thing which I'm not gonna say because again some things are better left private I, I tell y'all so only so much like I'm not gonna tell y'all where I work or what town I stay in, things like that. It's just a little too much information because I do know in the past where people have called CPS on people because they knew too much of their information. So I'm not even going to give you that much. But anyway, so um, the job that I work is for a call center and we our job is to take the calls and you, every, you help the customer whatever they need help with. You're to notate the account saying like hey they call for x y and z i told them x y and z or i did x y and z and then you close the account and you get another call like right away sometimes of course as we know i'm sorry y'all it looked like i had something in my eye but as we know some jobs some some customers are going to be a little more difficult than others so sometimes you have to note the account after that and screamed and yelled in your ear you have to note the account and then you have to um file a complaint about whatever they're upset about and depending on the day and time that they call if they ask for a supervisor we don't we can't get them to the supervisor you have to do a call back so anyway this particular day this customer you know like when you call in no matter where you call i call to my internet provider they want to verify me and it's internet so, no matter where you call, a, a agent job is to protect your account or protect whatever it is that they're providing service for you for. I mean, and as you as a customer should appreciate that they're trying to protect your account for whatever service you have. Because if something was to happen, the first person the customer is going to blame is the provider because they let such and such have access to their account. So, of course... We're going to take the proper steps to protect your account. So, the man was saying that he couldn't provide the information I was asking due to a couple of reasons. And I'm not going to say what the reasons were because... 
to a supervisor what was going on and why he wasn't able to provide authentication information or whatever. Basically, someone had got a hold of his account. That's, that's the better way to explain it. He was saying that someone had got access to his account and he wouldn't be able to provide authentication as of that moment because he didn't know what was going on with his account. So, me trying to be the good agent that I am, I reached out to the supervisor and I'm like, hey, this is the deal. Is there a way around it? She goes, with you, no, but I can get, I can see if there's a, a age, I mean, there's a, I can see if there's an agent that I can see him to, to escalate the situation. They have different things they can do to get the customer verified. So I was like, okay. The, the supervisor kept on, um, had me waiting, basically. She never responded because, of course, we work from home. I can't just go walk up to her and be like, hey, did you forget about me? No. So I, I gave her a good five to six minutes to see if she would respond. All that time, we have to we have to check in on the customer every two to three minutes. So all that time, I was checking in on him, letting him know, hey, this is what's going on. I'm waiting to hear if there's another way we can do this so that I can help you. The whole time, you could kind of tell he was like, had like an attitude. Because he, at first, he was like, I already thought you verified me. And I was like, no, sir. While I was trying to do that, you interrupted and you started telling me what was going on. Well, I didn't say interrupted. I was like, while I was doing it, you started to tell me what was going on. Because I always keep it professional, even when they're screaming at the top of their lungs at me. But anyway, so, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't move my camera. But it's not an excuse, my Dr. Pepper in the back. I sit it down while I was sitting up and I just left it there. But anyway, so, I get, and this is not what the ramble is about. I just want to give y'all a brief description of what I go through and why I'm like up to here. So, anyways, this will be quick. So, I explained to him what's going on, why I keep putting him on hold. I didn't tell him I was speaking with the supervisor. I just told him I was looking for other options to get him verified so that, or authenticated so that I could speak. Um, speak with him about getting him some help. I'm waiting on the supervisor to get back to me. About six minutes go by and I reach back out and I'm like, hey, you know, um, did you find out if anybody was available to help him get authenticated or verified? And she was like, um, well, I've reached out and no one came back to me, so just tell him to call back on Monday. Because, like I said, certain times of the day, like, after a certain time on a Friday, you won't be able to reach the, the team that handles um, upset customers until on Monday. So, she told me to tell him to go back on Monday. So, I get back on the line with him, and I'm telling him, I'm like, okay, well, um, I was trying to find another way to get you verified or authenticated, but I was advised that, you know, you have to go back on Monday because, um... You're not going to be able to get verified today because the people who are able to go around what I have to do are not in. He goes off on me. He's like, you don't know your job. You can't put me on hold because you thought I was going to hang up. And I want a supervisor. I want a supervisor. I want a supervisor. He's just screaming that. And I'm just like, sir, um, well, please let me explain because I was going to explain to him. I was in the middle of getting you verified. But once you explained to me what was going on. I knew then that I was not going to be able to get you verified. So, I was trying to find a different way to get you verified so that I can help you. My whole objective was to help him. He turned it around as if I didn't know what I was doing and I wasn't trying to help him. So, anyways, he ends up going off and I told him, I was like, well, I'll have to do a call back and have someone reach back out to you in 24 to 48 hours. Again, if it's Saturday, it's going to be 48 hours because Monday... It's two, two days away from Saturday. If it's Sunday, then it'll be 24 hours because they can call him back on Monday. Anyway, so he's going off and, he's, and every time I'm trying to explain to him, he's like, you only asked me one question. You didn't ask me enough information. And da, 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 da. And every time I try to explain, he's like, get me a supervisor. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm thinking to myself, like, you're not getting anywhere with him. He's already made up in his mind that it's your fault that he can't get help so just go ahead and do a call back so he can speak with the supervisor on monday so eventually i tell him okay well i'm gonna do a call back and he goes um he 
right now um, had to do X, Y, and Z. The supervisor tells me, and then I was like, oh, yeah, and I forgot I didn't get enough information from him for a callback. And the supervisor tells me, um, get out of not ready. She was like, get out of not ready. We tell y'all time and time again not to use not ready. And I'm like, how in the world were I, well, was I going to be able to know the account, do a callback, and file a complaint all before taking a break? If I didn't go not ready and I sat there and tried to do all of those things, I would have constantly kept getting calls. So at that point, how am I going to be able to take a break? Did you expect me to go ahead and go on break and then continue to finish what I needed to do? Because I was not going to do that. Like, I'm not about to work myself to the ground. You know, like, y'all don't feel like we deserve any extra pay for all this extra work y'all giving us. But at the same time, y'all aren't trying to, you know, help us. It's like, you want us to be like robots. Everything has to be perfect. We can't mess up. We must keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, and that's what really bothers me is like, I get on that phone every day and I take mental abuse from customers day in and day out and I take it with a smile and when I hang up I'm on to the next customer smiling like nothing ever happened as you should but it's like when you the work when the supervisors start to get to the point where they don't even care about us and and they're just like just get it done get it done get it done I don't hear, care how you have to get it done get it done that's when it becomes a problem for me because it's like this is messing with my mental health now and it's, it's clear that y'all don't care but that's just my whole spiel on it like I said I'm not going to disclose where I work because I'm, I don't want you know anything crazy to happen people are crazy but anyway and that's just the whole thing about what happened with um that's just the whole thing about what happened with my job but anyway so yeah and as y'all know i told y'all i've been dealing with my um blood pressure i have got it under control i've been taking the medicine and i have got it under control so yay that that isn't um bothering me anymore i went on ahead and bought a blood pressure monitor and now i'm able to check my blood pressure all the time because with um with my anxiety like not knowing my blood pressure really drives me crazy so i just went on broke down about a blood pressure um thing and that way i could always check it and see if it's too high or whatever may be going on so lately it's been good i also don't know if i told y'all but i went to the dermatologist i don't have the best skin i don't know if y'all can see but i don't have the best skin and i also deal with these dandruffs so i did go to a dermatologist dermatologist appointment so i am now taking some for my skin and my hair and it's going to take about three months to see results and i'm excited to see what the results are going to look like you know once i have really clear skin but anyways um about the giveaway i do i'm so sorry y'all to disappoint i did a lot of thinking and i was just like you know what with this job training me and i didn't get clear clear enough from who wanted to participate and who didn't some people were saying that they still wanted me to do it but they weren't leaving any other information or i didn't get 
decided to go ahead and um, come set up in my room so that I wouldn't have to keep constantly apologizing for all that background noise. But yeah, so we're going to put a pause on the giveaway and we'll revisit that at another time. Another thing I want to talk about, because I know y'all like she's always complaining. I come to y'all because for one, talking about what I'm going through is content, you know. I'm not going to sit here and just be like, well, nothing going on, you know, like, that makes for a boring video, like, why not sit back and listen to someone whisper and tell a story or two about what's going on in their life, like, it's not harming you, because I know I'll get a Nancy, uh, negative Nancy in the comments, like, why do you always get on here complaining, but anyway, on a lighter note, um, I am planning, um, something big for my birthday, I think I kind of touched base with y'all, so yeah, my life's not all about negativity, it's, and it's normally not negative, it's like, this job has been being very negative, a negative thing in my life, other than that, I don't really have anything negative going on, you know, I have little health things here and there, but like I said, that's under control, but yeah, I have been planning a trip to Florida for my birthday, and I am planning on purchasing my very first brand new car i've had plenty of cars but like i had a uh, my mom's old car which when she gave it to me it was like 2007 and it was a 2000 so i mean that wasn't too bad for a first car it was only seven years old and then um my next car my mom helped me purchase it was a used car when i had my daughter because my first car it was over with for that car so she helped me purchase a second car and again she picked it out and she was like here here's a car you know and of course I still had to pay for it but she basically used her credit and everything to get the car I didn't get any say so in it I didn't get to pick it but at the time I was still young still trying to find my right job that made pretty good and all that so it was a pretty decent car but I didn't get to pick it out. And then my third car, which is the car I have now, I, I'm not 100% happy with. It's not a bad car. It's an actually good car. But I know it, I'm know i pretty sure I have people out there that understand where I'm coming from. It's like, you kind of needed a new car. But at the same time, getting something extravagant wasn't part of the budget. So you kind of settle for the car that you have. Because you wasn't going to break the bank trying to get a really nice car. That's kind of what that was. It was like, at the time, I needed a new car. I could afford something, but I couldn't afford nothing brand new. So, that's how I got the car that I have now. And when I got her, she was only like, she was only five years old. So, and it was a pretty good car. But, um, y'all know my daughter that be on here. I'm going to pass that car on to her. Cause she'll be driving soon and I'm gonna get me something brand new first owner off the lot so stay tuned for that that'll be this summer because my birthday's in July if the good Lord's willing I will be getting a new car brand new and of course of course I'm gonna keep y'all posted and I'm gonna let y'all see the car and do some tingly tapping and whispering inside the car of course y'all will be definitely one of the first people to see it and yeah, once I get me a car, we plan on taking us a road trip to Florida. So I've been trying to get those things planned out because, of course, we're at the end of March. So April, May, June. So I'm almost at about three months away for that. So I like to plan my trips early so that I can find me a good hotel or condo and find a lot of things to do to fill up our time there. So that's something I've been working on. So yeah, I'm not always dealing with negativity. But yeah, I have another video to make for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy my little whisper ramble, even though this one is going to be a little choppy and messed up because of that. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got to get y'all videos out when I can, and my family's not here right now, so this is 